Hello friends, welcome to Talents Brain. I hope all of you are doing well and preparing well for your exam. So we have another new notification that is SSC CSSL exam. So apart from that, SSC CGL and IUPS clerk mains exam, all these are upcoming exams. So I hope you are preparing good. So well, today we are here to discuss the weekly current affairs from the first week of December current affairs. So we have around 45 to 50 persons. So let's start with the discussion part. So here is the first question on your screen. So here is the first question. Which country has taken over the presidency of G20? And the answer here is, it's Saudi Arabia. So the G20 presidency has been taken by Saudi Arabia from Japan. And Saudi Arabia has become the first Arab nation to assume G20 presidency. So what is this G20? So this is an international forum for the governments and central bank governors for, from 19 countries and the European Union. And this was founded in the year 1999. Now the next question. The Iraqi Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi has resigned amid ongoing anti-government protests across the country. So who is the current president of Iraq? And the answer here is, it's Baram Salil. So what's the capital of Iraq? It's Baghdad. And currency is Iraqi dinar. Now the next question. The Ministry of Information and Broadcasting is organizing a multimedia exhibition at DAS. And the answer here is, it is in Nagaland. So this is going to be happen in the World War II Museum, Kisama of Nagaland. And this event aims to present the Gandhian values and principles to the people through contemporary idioms. So who is the Chief Minister of Nagaland? Nephew Rio and Governor H.C. R.N. Ravi. Now the next question. Which state celebrates 57th Statehood Day on 1st December 2019? And the answer here is, is Nagaland. Now the next question. Who has assumed charge as the 27th new Comptroller General of Accounts? And the answer here is, Suma Roy Berman and she has replaced JPS Chavla and she become the seventh woman to hold this position and prior to this she has served as the additional controller general of accounts in the office of CGA. Now the next question here, the seventh edition of India Sri Lanka joint exercise named DAS begins at on military station at Pune. And the answer here is, it's Mitra Shakti. So this is the joint military exercise between India and Sri Lanka. It aims to build and promote the positive relationship between the armies of both the countries. Now try to recollect what is the um, capital of Sri Lanka and who is the Prime Minister and President. Now the next question here. Who has owned the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix held at Abu Dhabi of UAE? And the answer here is, this has been owned by Lewis Hamilton. And he is the Mercedes racer, whereas Max Verstappen of Red Bull finished at second position. Now the next question, the 13th edition of South Asian Games has officially kicked off in that. And it has kicked off in Kathmandu. So the opening ceremony was held in Dasrath Stadium in Kathmandu. This is in Nepal. Right? And the 2022 Asian game will be held in Colombo. And who is the president of Nepal? It's Vidya Devi Bhandari. And Prime Minister is KP Sarma Oli. Now the next question. The Ministry of State for Human Resource Development, Sanjay Dutre, inaugurated the Indian Pavilion at Dash. And it has been inaugurated in Mexico. So India is the guest of honor country in the book fair and become the first Asian country to participate as a guest of honor in this international book fair held in Mexico. Now the next question, the Global Migration Film Festival was organized in DAS 
and it was organized in Dhaka. So this festival screened around 15 films on the theme of migration and its various aspects and the festival was organized by the International Organization of Migrants and Dhaka University of Film Society. And who is the chief of International Organization of Migrants? That is International Organization of Migrants that is IOM. So who is the chief of this IOM? It's Georgi Giori. And it was established in the year 1951. Now the next question, indigenous faith day celebrated in Das to promote and protect the indigenous faith and tribal tradition to keep the ethnic identity of the local tribes. And the answer here is, it was celebrated in Arunachal Pradesh. And who is the chief minister of Arunachal Pradesh? It's Prema Khandu, governor is B.D. Mishra. Now the next question, who took over as the 14th Commander-in-Chief of the Andaman and Nicobar Command? And the answer here is, it's General Potali Sankar Rajeshwar. Now the next question, who has taken over as the charge as Chairman of Ordinance Factory Board? And the answer here is, this has been taken by Hari Mohan. And he is going to replace Saurabh Kumar. So the Ordnance Factory Board founded in the year 1712 and headquarters is located in West Bengal of Kolkata. And the headquarters is located in Kolkata of West Bengal. Now the next question. Who has won the 12th Sakti Bhatt first book prize? And the answer here is, this has been won by Tony Joseph. And he was awarded for his book written in 2018, that is Early Indians, the story of our ancestors and where we came from. Now the next question. Who claimed the gold medals in 55 kg category at the Senior Wrestling National Championship in Jalandhar of Punjab? And the answer here is, it is claimed by Venus Fogart. So Venus Fogart here has claimed the gold in 55 kg category whereas Saksi Malik here, she has claimed gold in 62 kg category. Now the next question. Who launched the Bharatiya Potion Anthem in New Delhi aiming towards taking the message of making India malnutrition free to all corners of the country? And the answer here is, it's M. Venkaya Naidu. Now the next question, who has elected as the new president of Mauritius? And the answer here is, it's Prithvira Singh Ropun. Right, so Prithvira Singh Ropun has been elected as the president of Mauritius and he was the former art and culture minister of Mauritius and who is the prime minister of Mauritius is Pravind Kumar Jognath. Now the next question, the Asian Development Bank Board has unanimously elected Dash as its new president after Takehiko Nakago and the answer here is, is Matsutsugu Asakawa. And he will be succeeding Takehiko Nakawa, who will leave the office on January of 2020. So this Asian Development Bank was established in the year 1966. And this is owned by 68 member countries. Now the next question here, Sundar Pichai promoted as the Alphabet CEO after Google co-founder Larry Page and Sajib Brain have stepped down from the parent company Alphabet. So where is the headquarter of Alphabet? And the answer here is, 
it is in mountain view of california and if you look at the other option the first option is given it's new Brinsk and of new jersey this is the headquarter of microsoft and the third option is given it's san francisco this is the headquarter of twitter and the fourth option is given menlo park of california this is the headquarter of facebook and the fifth option is given theater of washington this is the headquarter of amazon now the next question the asian development bank has agreed to advance a loan of dash to develop the water supply and several infrastructure in tamil nadu and the answer here is is 206 us million dollars and this project will target the cities namely Ambur, Tiruchurapalli, Tirupur and Vellore of Tamil Nadu for developing the sewage corrections and treatment and drainage systems. Now the next question, the Walmart India in partnership with DAS launched a co-branded credit card offering free credit up to 50 days. And the answer here is, it's SGFC. Where is the headquarter of Walmart? It is in Gurgaon. And who is the president CEO of Walmart? It's Krish Ayer. And where is the headquarter of STFC? It is in Mumbai, right? And who is the chairman? It's Deepak Parekh. Who has won the Balloon D or Award for the world's best player? And the answer here is, it's Lionel Messi. So he belongs to Barcelona and he has won the world's best player for the record sixth time. This is the sixth time he has won this award. Now the next question, the government has launched the fourth round of regional connectivity scheme that is Udan to further enhance the connectivity to remote and regional areas of the country. So what does A stands for in Udan? And the answer here is A stands for Arm. So what does this Udan stands for? Udan is ka Arm Nagrik. So this is the full form of Udan. So A stands for arm. And the focus will be in this round will be the northeastern region, hilly states and Jammu and Kashmir. Now the next question. The International Finance Corporation, a unit of World Bank Group, has approved an investment of DAS in Mahindra and Mahindra Financial Services Limited. And the answer here is it's $200 million. So this International Finance Corporation, that is IFC, investing around $75 million from its own account and mobilizing another $125 million as a parallel loan. So when did this form? This form in the year 1956 and headquarters is located in Washington, D.C. And there are around 184 member countries now the next question which state has launched madhu arc to help school students to understand their subject in a better and efficient manner and the answer here is this has been launched by orissa so this is an e-learning mobile phone application for the students where they will be able to access the videos of explanations for the topic they were taught in classrooms. Now the next question, which station was conferred with the Eat Right Station certification with 4 stars rating by the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India as a part of Eat Right India movement? And the answer here is, this has been conferred to Mumbai Central Station. And this Food Safety and Standards Authority of India was established in the year 2011. 
and headquarters is located in New Delhi. And who is the chairperson? It's Rita Tiotia. So it's the chairperson. And who is the chief executive officer? It's Pawan Kumar Agrawal. Now the next question, who was best over with the Economic Times Lifetime Achievement Award for the Public Service 2019? And the answer here is, it's Arun Jetli. This has been given posthumously. So on behalf of Arun Jetli, his spouse has collected this uh, award. Now the next question, who among the following Who among the following Hollywood actor has been bestowed with the PETA that is People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals Person of the Year Award 2019? And the answer here is, it's Joaquin Raphael Phoenix. And he is the American actor who acted in the Joker movie. Now the next question. Which team has been awarded the Christopher Martins Jenkins Spirit of Cricket Award? And the answer here is, this has been awarded to New Zealand. So the next question here, the eight joint training exercise hand in hand 2019 is scheduled to be conducted at Umroi of Meghalaya from 7 December was an exercise between India and DAS. And this was an exercise between India and China. And what is the aim of this exercise is to practice a joint planning and conduct a counter-terrorist operation in semi-urban terrains. So what's the capital of China? It's Beijing. Currency is Renbin. Now the next question. The Union Minister for Food Processing inaugurated the Avanti Mega Food Park in Das. And the answer here is this has been inaugurated in Divas of Madhya Pradesh. So, who is the Union Minister of Food Processing? Is Hatsimrat Kaur Badal. Now, the next question. The National Investment and Infrastructure Fund of India and Canada Pension Plan Investment Board have agreed to invest up to DAS through the NIIF Master Fund. And the answer here is they are agreed to fund $600 million. And this agreement includes a commitment of $150 million in the, so the National Investment and Infrastructure Fund of India, that is NIAF, who is the MD and CEO of NIAF, it's Sujay Bose. Now the next question, the online trucking platform Blackbird has partnered with the private lenders DAS and DAS to provide fast tags to truck owners free of cost. And the answer here is it's IDFC Bank and Yes Bank. Who is the MD and CEO of IDFC Bank? It's V. Vaidyanathan. And what is the tagline for this bank? Always you first. This is the tagline of this bank. And who is the MD and CEO of Yes Bank? It's Ravnit Gill. And what is the tagline? Experience or expertise. This is the tagline of Yes Bank. Now the next question, exercise Indra 2019, a joint tri-service exercise between India and DAS will be conducted in India from 10 to 19 December 2019. And the answer here is, Indra 2019 is the exercise between India and Russia. 
So here the both countries will share the expertise and their professional experience. So what's the capital of Russia? It's Moscow. And currency is Russian ruble. And who is the president of Russia? Vladimir Putin. Now the next question. The Commerce and Industry Ministry inaugurated the third edition of National Public Procurement Conclave in DAS. And the answer here is, this has been inaugurated in New Delhi. Now the next question, so which general insurance company has launched My Health Women Sureksa Policy, a comprehensive medical insurance scheme specially des designed for women? And the answer here is, this has been launched by SGFC Elgo. And this policy is specially designed to cover the women against numerous Ill illness so they may face during their lifetime. So thereby providing a financial aid in case of medical contingency. And this policy is offered to women between 18 to 65 years of age. And this will ensure an amount of 1 lakh to 1 crore. And where is the headquarters of this SDFC ergo? This is in Mumbai. And who is the MD and CEO? It's Ritesh Kumar. And it was established in the year 2002. Now the next question, which state government has set up a 15 anti-depredation squads of the forest department to deal with human wildlife conflicts in the state? And the answer here is, this has been implemented in Assam. So what's the capital of Assam? Is this pool? Who is the chief minister? Is Sarbanan Sonowal and governor is Jagdis Mukhi. Now the next question, Investors Education and Protection Fund Authority works under Ministry of Corporate Affairs has signed a memorandum of understanding with DAS to spread the customer awareness and investment education by reaching out to investors and stakeholders. And the answer here is, it has been signed memorandum of understanding with Bank of Baroda. So where is the headquarter Bank of Baroda located? It is in Baroda of Gujarat. And Thailand is India's international bank. Now the next question here. India and DAS ties a transcend strategic partnership to cover the traditional areas as well as IT space and nuclear science. And the answer here is India has tied up with Bangladesh. So what's the capital of Bangladesh? It's Dhaka. Currency is Dhaka. Now the next question. Who has been appointed as the senior security advisor in Union Home Minister? And the answer here is, it's K. Vijay Kumar. Now the next question. World AIDS Day is observed on DAS every year. And the answer here is, it is observed every year on 1st of December. And what was the theme of this year? The communities make the difference. Now the next question, the International Day for Abolition of Slavery observed every year on DAS and it is observed every year on 2nd of December. Now the next question, the International Day of Persons with Disability is being observed on the DAS every year and it is observed every year on 3rd of December. And what was the theme of this year? It is promoting the participation of persons with disability and their leadership, taking action on the 2030 Development Agenda. Now the next question, the Indian Navy Day is being celebrated in India on DAS and it is being celebrated in India on 4th of December. And who is the Chief of Naval Staff? It's Admiral Karambir Singh. Now the next question, the International Volunteer Day is observed across the world on DAS every year and it is observed across the world on 5th of December. And what is the theme of this year? This year theme was Volunteer for an Inclusive Future. 
Now the next question, the soil day is celebrated across the world on DAS aims to raise the awareness of importance of sustaining healthy ecosystem and human well-being. And the answer here is, this has been celebrated on 5th of December. And what was the campaign for this? Stop soil erosion and save our future. Now the next question, Armed Force Flag Day is observed on DAS every year across the country to honor the martyrs and armed forces persons. And the answer here is, this has been observed on 7th of December. Now the next question, the United Nations General Assembly officially recognized DAS as an International Civil Aviation Day. And the answer here is, it's on 7th of December. So what was the theme of this year? The Civil Aviation Day is 75 years of connecting the world. So this was the theme of this year. And with this question, we have come to the end of the session. I covered all the important bits, whatever I have scheduled for this session. So we'll meet next week with the second week of December current affairs. Till then, keep reading and stay tuned. Thank you.